Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe this channel. In this video, we are going to design a layout for inserting information in a real-time database using Jetpack Compose library. So here I am changing this, the function greeting. In place of this, I am changing the name to real time database. Change here name also real time database and we remove this parameter. No need of this also. Here also we change the name of the function. refresh and build now here I say column layout and here we say modifier equal to modifier dot fill max width then we say horizontal alignment to alignment central then we may have the vertical arrangement and we say arrangement dot center like this we can have more setting also now this under this column we have a text first of all and here i just print or write enter student information and just I try to change the font size also and we say font size is 16 dot sp like this we refresh it now after this text I want to take the text box for getting information so we can set color also so what I do I can set here color also and that color and we say color dot red now after this I have uh, outline text text field here we have value and so uh, this outline text I want here to take a variable also well and uh, this variable would be the roll number so we say roll number remember by by remember and we say mutable state of and here we can say some value can be slice like this we have a roll number here I can pass roll number and here I can pass that roll number equal to it okay it is a roll number string value so dot to string we have to change it to where because it's a val so like this we can use it now in this text what I do so we have this outline text field text we have and here we change some properties also so what I do I say modifier so I say modifier dot max width because the full width we want to take then after that 
we say placeholder placeholder and here i want to take text under the placeholder i want to display that enter student roll number and here i can give text size also means font size also and we say 14 dot sp like this and refresh it and if we need icon also so i can uh, add icon also here uh, like uh, leading icon but i doesn't require icon here so no need to take icon but if you want to take icon you can take icon also like this we have a enter a student spelling mistake a student all number and we can increase uh, we can set color also so i say color dot blue like this so one text field is start now after this text i can take a spacer also a spacer also and modifier uh, we can put here modifier dot padding and i can put padding to 10 dot dp and try to refresh and check the layout like this or otherwise i can uh, insert height also in place of padding i can say height also as per the requirement then i just copy this space and this outline also copy and i just paste then paste so here in place of a student roll number we say enter student name and here i can say enter student course remember and everything is done then rebuild and refresh we will see some changes also you see now in place of this i can set enter student roll number enter student name course we have this and uh, uh, i have a padding also because it's showing some problem so i can set here padding also so i say modifier fire dot padding and here i can say 10 dot dp i can set uh, here padding also I say 10 dot dp try to copy this for all here also and here also then refresh you see so it looking fine now we may have buttons also for insert update and delete so for that I take a spacer here and i put the size to 20 and there i take box layout here box layout and under this box i will take the buttons so i say outline buttons and here we have a on click and here i want to set the text so the text i can put here the same text i can put here and i say here that insert okay and size to 16 sp and in place of color of this we can say a red color to this also and in place of one button copy and paste three four time and i say insert display then update 
then delete this one and remember that uh, uh, here I say roll number so I have to create uh, three properties also so I just copy and paste and I say here student name student name and here I say course or I can say s name here and in place of uh, roll number I can uh, put here course in place of name I can say s name here also s name and here also course like this done and I refresh it so I have this one so here uh, we have box layout and under this box layout I have to check row in place of box I have to take row because in a row I can show this so I take here change the layout from box to row layout because in a box we have only one button to display but in a row we have the number of button to display in a row like this so uh, now if I click on display some record will be display just down of this button so here after this here I take spacer so I take a spacer and I take a spacer for 10 then 10 and then I want to take here uh, I want to take here the animated visibility and here I will put uh, check variable I'm going to create it so if it is visible then here I will create a text and remember that I will create a text and in this text I will display here result here I will display result and uh, no need to put size size we can say 14 so I want to take now check also so just copy this and paste this change to check and here change to boolean and here check check to false change to false like this so it is done now here what I do uh, I can take uh, uh, modifier also this one and here I result I want to take result also so I create one more variable of a string type and I change this value to result like this now I say this and here here uh, experimentally I want to put this API and I refresh and after this we have this layout and I can run it also if I click on executable uh, so I can run this and we can see the output here in an Android emulator so I think we have designed a layout for real-time database you see <coughs> the layout is ready enter student information in place of this I can say student information from real-time database database remember and I can increase the font size also to little bit like this a student info 
from real time database and I can increase size to this one also remember it's okay looking fine done I think so we just design the layout for real time database in next video we will see how we can insert display update and delete record in real time database we will link this application with firebase real time database and after linking we will perform these operation one by one in different videos i think that's all in this video if you learn something from this video please like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video